aging face of Star Trek. Time travel as we look back on 25 years of Star Trek and some... Welcome back. Well, it's that time again when Trekkies reach for their Enterprise jackets, sellotape on their Spock ears and head for the local flea pit to watch another voyage of the Starship Enterprise. Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, is currently taking the country cinemas by storm. And to celebrate what is surely the last voyage of Kirk & Co, CIC Video has put together the first five films into a collector's box set. Star Trek, quite simply, is the cult smash that refuses to go away. But when a sneak preview of the TV series was aired in the US on September the 8th, 1966, Trade Bible Variety described it as just not working. Star Trek never was very big with NBC or its sponsors because it couldn't deliver the required audience ratings. The Enterprise was headed for the big scrap heap in the sky just three months into its run until a committee of renowned sci-fi authors, including Richard Matheson and Robert Bloch, started one of a series of letter-writing campaigns which salvaged the series and helped it onto its three-series, five-year run. Blood pressure is practically non-existent. Assuming you call that green stuff in your veins blood, the readings are perfectly normal for me, Doctor. Thank you. One of the chief objections NBC had with Star Trek was that it was too cerebral. But the meeting of social issues, moral dilemmas, and a positive vision of the future are some of the many qualities in the show which has endeared it to millions worldwide and been carried on by the hugely popular Star Trek The Next Generation. Council must have a leader now. Complete the right so I can kill this Kavida. You will die slowly. You have already proved you haven't the courage to face me. Perhaps you should plant another bomb. Hurry up! Sit down. But the Enterprise didn't stop there. Not only was another TV series spawned, but the characters went into animation drive. In 1973, the cast was reunited for a 17-part Emmy Award-winning cartoon series. Continual fan mail helped launch Star Trek into further galaxies and six more adventures on the big screen. Star Trek The Motion Picture was a poor start and arguably the least enjoyable of the six feature films. With Kirk promoted to Admiral, it gave the captaincy and too much time to Stephen Collins, whose courtship of Kambata was surely filmed in Snoozerama. Sorry. That you left Delta IV? Or that you didn't even say goodbye? With the story snitched from the TV episode Space Seed, the second film, Wrath of Khan, was much more what Trekkies were after. There she is. There she is. against their shields. The base is stubborn. Scotty, I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. The search for Spock, which was directed by Leonard Nimoy, two years after his character had supposedly gone to the great Vulcan rest home in the sky, was a bit of a disappointment after Khan. This entire crew seems on the edge of obsessive behavior concerning Mr. Spock. Judging by the pollution content of the atmosphere, I believe we have arrived at the latter half of the 20th century. Nimoy really struck gold again two years later with his second directed feature, The Voyage Home. 
This is considered by many to be the finest Trek feature, including, as it does, some lame-brained plot about the crew having to return to the 20th century to save the whale and life in the 23rd century. Paranoid culture. What does it mean, exact change? Many of their customs will doubtless take us by surprise. You're from outer space. No, I'm from Iowa. I only work in outer space. We have an intruder. Can we make breakaway speed? When William Shatner got behind the camera the last time round for The Final Frontier, yawns were the order of the day back in the aisles. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Perhaps I have, Captain. Our destination is the planet Shakari, Eden, at the center of the galaxy. The center of the galaxy can't be reached. If you ask me, and you haven't, I think this is a terrible idea. We're bound to bump into the Klingons. Star Trek VI is dedicated to the original creator, Gene Roddenberry, who sadly died last year. Luckily, the undiscovered country stopped the final frontier being the last word from the bridge of the Enterprise. While we're waiting for that one to come out on video, sit back and savour the boxed set, original, new and animated series on video. Tonight, we're delighted to be able to offer you a chance to win this box set, which comprises the first five films, plus a special commemorative documentary looking at 25 years of Star Trek. Just tell me who directed the original motion picture, and this handsome set can be yours. Was it A, Leonard Nimoy, B, Nicholas Mayer, or C, Robert Wise? Ring our 24-hour competition hotline on 0891 664455 and good luck. That's 0891 664455. Well, Trekkies and lovers of time-traveling sci-fi movies